Hey guys, it's Eric with another episode of Enchanted Minds. Today we're going to go over uh, the dread ring and, and the best way to approach doing the daily out here. Um, you can see on the mini map we've got a demonic heroic that has spawned, so we want to take advantage of this one right away. Um, this is our first priority getting out here is doing the demon hunting quest. Um, there's three different areas that can spawn. We want the ones here uh, at, towards the bottom of the map, closest to camp. That's where we're going to get the most reinforcements from other players. So here, where we're going, and then also down here towards the bottom. Uh, we want to take advantage of these right now because when it, goes up, uh, when it goes up here, guys, in the top left, not a lot of people are up there. You can probably solo it, but much quicker, much more effective, and a chance to spawn a second heroic if we get 10 people here uh, at one of these front two. So that's why we do it this way, guys. You can see there's also a quest uh, in this area, so we'll hit the heroic, we'll do the quest, um, and then we'll move on with our dailies out here. So this campaign, guys, is essential. It is huge for your character um, when you hit level 70 especially if you're planning on making this character your main character so you get a lot of good booms out here in the dread ring and if you didn't know guys the booms are massive they're going to account for 60 plus percent of your character's potential guys so you guys want you want to take advantage of these booms you you do um, and with that being said, Dread Ring has some of the easiest boons to get for your character right away. And the, the best tip I can give you guys, doing your dailies, never miss a daily. Never ever miss a daily uh, unless, it's, unless you have to. And if you're only going to be online for 30 minutes or an hour, then I highly advise you spend that time wisely doing your daily in whatever zone that you're working on, uh, you know, appropriate for your gear score. So Dread Ring is something that you can handle pretty low gear score, guys. It's not hard at all. Um, if you're new to the game, then it might be helpful for you to get in a group, although I would say it's not necessary. And, and with that, with that being said, guys, uh, another big tip to give you for the Dread Ring is to get yourself some Genie's Gifts. So Genie's Gifts are going to allow you to purchase campaign currency from one of the vendors here. And it's going to allow you to get the boons very, very quickly because this is one of the best places to spend Genie's Gifts. It's really one of only two that we recommend you spend your genie's gifts and, and uh, you know, rather than buying the campaign. It's much cheaper. So we take a look at the auction house. It's in miscellaneous. And we type in genie. There they are. So you can see right now, 20,000. Um, you would need quite a few of these to buy the campaign outright, um, but the game does give them to you a couple times for free. Also, if you're opening the right lockboxes, there's a chance that they drop also. So, um, if you come across some Genie's Gifts, we advise you spend them here. Um, or if you see a good deal in the auction house, 20,000 guys, that's pretty much the going rate these days but it is still a little a little high for my liking um, when these first came out we were paying six thousand so I'd like to pay much uh, much less than twenty thousand keep an eye on them um, and really like like with anything it's gonna be buying in bulk is going to be the cheapest way uh, for you so that's, uh, we typically recommend having a lot of Astral Diamonds on your character, uh, which is something I need to do with this guy, especially now that he's level 70. So the dailies, guys, um, you, 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 wanna, you wanna smash these out quickly. Um, we're not gonna do them here in this video. We're gonna stick to basically 
you know, the highlights of the campaign um, and why you need to be doing it. So this is going to take probably another 15 minutes for me to complete all of the dailies here. Um, but I want to show you guys some things. So you can see here we have a heroic encounter reward. And look at this guys, this is huge. It's giving us Seal of the Protector, which is going to uh, allow us to convert this, this currency into Astral Diamonds or into equipment for your character if you're lacking. Um, great things to buy there at the Protector Seal vendor. So uh, if you just want to convert it into diamonds, buy the rings. 300 seals, 4,000 diamonds, you can't go wrong. Um, and then you see here, guys, Demonic Icor. This is very, very nice for getting yourself equipment out there in Mantle Dareth. And then here, this is the most important drop that we got from the Heroic. Is, is these, uh, I call them Farizis. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Uh, fairs, res. <laughs> Farizi sounds better, guys. So these right here um, are used in another campaign so you're actually benefiting two campaigns out here with this steaming hunty quest um so what we're going to take a look at here is our our campaign journal and we're going to come down to underdark which is not i mean we're in the dread ring just underneath it but we're going to underdark and you can see here guys this underdark is obtained by filling up this 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 meter in the middle by processing Farizis. So, uh, in order to do that, we need 200 Farizis, and it's an 18-hour process. So, what we want to do, guys, is make sure that we're getting these Farizis uh, every day, and 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 you're going to get a good handful of them out here doing the demon hunting quest. You also can get a good chunk doing Throne of the Dwarven Gods. Um, what we, again, what we recommend is, is uh, utilizing Genie's Gifts out here and then also in, uh, in Icewind Dale. So if you do this in Icewind Dale and Care Koneg, then the only thing you'll need to do to get your boons out there is the Demon Hunting Quest. So if you can do your daily out there, the demon hunting in Icewind Pass, do your demon hunting out here in the Dread Ring, you'll have plenty of Farizis to process. You can also, uh, so that's how you're going to get the boons. The more Farizis you see, the higher you fill that meter, the more boons, guys, that you unlock. There's no quest here for the Underdark. So this is huge. You can also make keys here on the right hand side. Uh, lessers, graders, so this is quite nice guys. And then the other thing that we want to point out with your Dread Ring, um, A, there's a weekly, so there's a, there's a weekly here that's going to give you Astral Diamonds. This is an incredibly fast weekly. It's telling us to kill three wizards and so all we have to do, killing three wizards, and it's going to give us uh, 4,500 Astral Diamonds. We can't complain there, guys. And the other thing that's very, very nice about this campaign is what we get uh, from each of the dailies. So you can see here, we look at our journal. Um, each of the dailies gives us the Dread Ring Artifact Bag. So these, these bags have refinement stones for our artifacts. Very, very nice when you're leveling up the gear. Uh, like I said, especially while you're leveling up the gear um, to, 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 to blue and purple. Um, after your stuff is epic, the bags, I mean, they help. Every bit helps and they're, they're free. You come to your dailies, you get more refinement stones. So. It, it is advised to continue to do it, but um, there's also ways to make a lot more Astral Diamonds in that time. So while you're out here getting the boons, while you're out here getting these artifacts up, it does make a ton of sense, guys, uh, to spend time in the Dread Ring 
right when you turn level 70 um, and not so much to buy it. So if you have any questions, guys, comment down below. Or if you need help in-game on the PS4 platform, comment down below. Uh, as, as always, going to ask you to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so. And as always, guys, may the drops be ever in your favor. Eric out. <laughs>